This is the kind of scene where it's, it's hard to get a lot from the recon. Must have been fun to film. <laughs> oh, a bit more footage. <laughs> oh, that's it, Dodo. <laughs> well, hello and welcome to The Shallow Proclamation with myself, Thomas, and my friend. <laughs> I was a special friend. Special friend. Special friend. Football friend. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> just... slicker, slicker by the episode. Um, we're watching Doctor Who, The Savages, um, episode four. The finale. Anything to say, Paul? No, I don't think so. Just looking forward to seeing where this one lands. Hmm. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> that is nice how they've done the doors. Sometimes it's the simple little design things like that that just really make things, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or even if they're not particularly, you know, even if they're not wonderful, it's just the distinctiveness of them. Has that actor been in Doctor Who before? Um, I don't think so. I think who you may be confusing him with is um, Julian Glover in The Crusade. You're absolutely right. The voice is similar, isn't it? Well, and even just the, the the face and the like, the the facial hair, the kind of style. Um, yeah, it's quite similar. Yeah, that's true. Nice bit of footage there. Let us down the side. You take that side, and I'll take this. Dana, you can watch him from here. Yes, uh, that may be the clip. There was a there was a story we watched a while ago where there was a clip of Stephen doing something like that, and someone said it wasn't actually from that story. Oh. Maybe that clip here. I don't know. There is some debate as to whether you're actually watching the episodes. Mm. If you're watching a recon, or even if you're watching an animation, mm. um, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Exactly. We found that with Galaxy Four, didn't we? Galaxy Four. You don't you, it, it, visually the the existing episode and the animation doesn't quite tie up together. Um, so people are putting their own spin on it, aren't they? Mm. Rather than just being a faithful, really, completely, a completely faithful reconstruction. But... It's true. Yeah, it's interesting. This is the kind of thing where you struggle, though, where you've got scenes like this where there's clearly some action going on, but you can't really see it. It can just describe it a little bit. The music's telling me that the action's happening. Yeah, I have no sense spatially of where these people are in relation to each other. Yeah, sure. Please carry out my instructions and do not harm Jano. Are you all right, Doctor? Yes, I think so, my dear. I must have fallen into some kind of a coma. I don't know. I don't know. All my powers are being set. <laughs> That's a small amount of footage, you know. That's what's that? That's like a second of that. Yes, yeah, like who got that? We've got to get to the TARDIS. Oh, no, my dear. No, no, we can't leave yet. That was synced up almost. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Doctor seems to kind of be in the know in some way here. Seems to. Well, your people, they are quite safe, Doesn't seem. Jano comes as a friend. Bothered at all. Do not be afraid. Yeah. Like he knows how things are going to go. And not only, what has happened to me? Well, it's all very simple. You want it by internet. You got it. And along with it, you received a little conscience, more hmm? Conscience? Yes, yes, you see. Jano is now saddled with a sense of right and wrong, which makes him an explosive element in a civilization such as his. Is this true? It must be. All I know is that since the experiment, I have not been sure of myself. I have grown aware of the evil that we have done, and I am determined to end it. You are going to help yes. us? Yes. Your friends would never agree. I know. I will not mm. try to persuade them. Jano has another plan. How did you know, Doctor? I think it's like mine. This is the kind of scene where it's, it's hard to get a lot from the recon. <laughs> Must have been fun to film. <laughs> oh, a bit more footage. <laughs> oh, that's it, Dodo. <laughs> you have no more authority here. You have no authority here, Jackie. 
Read the standing orders, Edel. Read them and understand them. Doctor, we already owe you much. Hey. Now I owe you my life. Jano, since you have destroyed the fire, you have over talented. Yeah, so you quick. You realize now. Very well. I will stay. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. And thank you. You have justified our faith. Stephen's just going. Doctor, for many light years, we looked forward to your arrival on this planet. We always knew of your wisdom, but we never dreamed of the miracle that it would bring us. Thank you, Jano, and if ever you need the benefit of my wisdom again, I trust and hope you will allow me to express myself with my own free will, rather than place me in an oven and try and cook it out of me. Hmm? <laughs> Come, child. We must summon our people. There is much work to be done. We shall await you in our council chamber. Well, I must say, young man, I'm very proud of you. Doctor, I don't know it. I know, I know, my boy. Well, go on, you mustn't keep them waiting. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Stephen, and good luck. Hmm, it's nice that that survived. Yeah. Can anyone in the comments let us know how, how it is that these bits survived? This strange complex of time and space, anything can happen. Come along, Mr. let's go. Oh, no. That was, that was uh, quite emotional, wasn't it? Yeah, although very different to sort of Ian and Barbara. Yeah. Or even Vicky, just very... Very British. Stiff upper lip and a handshake. Goodbye. Good stuff. There we go. I mean, that was that. Um, Stephen's gone. Yeah, Stephen's gone. Yeah. Um, now it's just the dodo. Yeah, so a couple of things about that story. That is the first time since an unearthly child that the doctor has travelled alone with a single female companion. Wow. Um, now, so just with Dodo. And also, that's the first story, yeah, to feature no on-screen deaths of any additional characters. Um, Edge really? of Destruction didn't have any death, but it didn't feature any additional cast members either. So, <laughs> so just this once, everybody <laughs> lives. <laughs> Until next time. But, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So uh, yeah, that's interesting there. Yeah, I mean, what do you think of that? What do you think of that as a conclusion there, and the whole thing, I suppose, as well? I really liked that actually, in terms of yeah, you you receive the mindset of the doctor, and they just assume it will give you much more intellect, but they don't account for the fact that he also gets the doctor's compassion. Mm. Um, Jano and then he becomes a traitor in their eyes um, but he's like I can see I can see what we've been doing to our, these people we've been calling savages but they're actually equal to us and uh, we need to set them free and destroy the power plant and stuff so that was yeah very strong kind of moral core to it didn't it um mm. a lot of kind of overtones of um you know the slave trade and uh you know I was bl blind but now I see amazing grace kind of feel to it mm. so yeah quite quite powerful um but yeah as you say Stephen's departure was a little bit British kind of stiff up a lip at least it wasn't as hastily done as Vicky's was um mm. 
but yeah i know what you mean it was a little bit um easy although dodo got a bit emotional didn't she yeah yeah and nice though that they were even though there's very brief bits of footage that nice that they are actually the, the that little bit of Stephen leaving because i mean i i knew Stephen left in this story um even though i'd not seen it before um and i was thinking as we were watching it like this really if you think back to when Stephen joined the cast there's not much of him in the whole there's not really much of his stuff that really exists um you know yeah. compared to the well given the number of stories he did there's just so much missing um it's a real shame i think for peter purvis for that to be the case but um yeah he grew on me Stephen. i think because i think initially i said i hadn't warmed to him as much as maybe ian and barbara but he does but he fulfills a slightly different role he's a, he's not i mean you kind of said when i mentioned how he was the kind of hero figure or the you said he's much more the everyman hero, which I think is true. I mean, you said a bit more like Ian, but in, in some ways he's not really like Ian. He's much more, He, I mean, Ian did step up to the mark when he needed to, mm. but I suppose, I don't know what it is about Stephen. He, Stephen's a bit more kind of brash and, you know, Ian kind of got involved when he needed to. Stephen seemed to just want to, get stuck in from the off yeah, that's um, true. maybe because he's from the future and he's a pilot and stuff whereas ian is a chemistry teacher you know um from the 60s i don't know um ian was a much milder character i think you know yeah gentler soul um in although having said that stephen does know how to party or should i say feast <laughs> No, don't say. We don't need to think about that. Um, although, One of so my what favourites. <laughs> what struck me, actually, I mean, and I'd be interested to get your thought on this, would be, um, would you say that the Doctor was sidelined in most of this story? Because it struck mm. me in the first kind of episode or the first two episodes that he spent a lot of it off screen talking to the elders of the city and most of the action was happening with Stephen and Dodo, like in the tunnels, you know, Dodo with the kind of zombie man lurching towards her. And then a lot of the, and then he spends a good chunk of episode three incapacitated and even a bit of this incapacitated or not with it. Whereas mostly it's Stephen and Dodo, it felt to me, who were doing the stuff, primarily Stephen as well, kind of being the main characters. And, the, and I just wondered whether that was a deliberate thing because I know they were trying to, you know, wanted to get rid of Hartnell by this stage. Um, he'd been sidelined in the Celestial Toy Maker, toy maker by making him invisible and mute and stuff. Um, so although he kind of comes back into the fore at the end of the story, I don't know if the Doctor does loads and loads throughout the rest of it. That's a really interesting point. Yeah, I feel in a way that William Hartnell was sidelined in it but the doctor wasn't i know that sounds okay. a bit weird but yeah yeah that's nice it feels like the yeah the doctor is as a as a thing is becoming pretty solid now and um yeah kind of saves the day in this episode you know this guy gets the character of the doctor and that's what kind of saves the day but as you say william hartnell has yeah. been kind of increasingly just put on one side or incapacitated i mean well in the previous story he has to go to the dentist celestial toy maker he's made yeah. invisible and <laughs> mute. um it's like they're bending over backwards to write him out of the screen basically mm. but he's obviously still very present in the story but yeah, yeah. No, that's a really helpful way of thinking about it that actually hartnell is sidelined but the doctor isn't and I, even like you say the so Jano takes on the characteristics of the doctor so it's the doctor's character that actually brings the resolution to the story even if it's not the doctor himself doing it but equally right from the beginning of the story we've got the doctor as a figure that they've been waiting for for a while you know that that was mm. an interesting thing i mean nothing really nothing really particularly came of that did it it was just a thing that was in there as, at least i didn't notice anything in the story that really revolved around that but they clearly it just made the doctor this figure that 
people know who he is in some way and was respected and you know was someone people were going to look to for wisdom and knowledge um so it does feel like the character of the doctor is being elevated and being used quite a lot there um yeah he's but, kind of got a, a bit of notoriety now doesn't he mm, yeah. reputation but like, you, but like you say hartnell himself is sidelined in the process which is which is interesting so i'd be interested to see what because I've seen the next story, the War Machines. I, I have I had it on video, um, but I must have only watched it a couple of times. Again, as a young child, black and white wasn't as interesting to me, so um, I can't remember. You know, I, I I don't remember the details. So I'd be interested to see the way in which Hartnell features in that story. Um, Do you reckon well. that drove um, the decision to make to like the invent to invent the idea of regeneration? Because obviously the show was remaining pretty popular. Um, Hartnell's getting on a bit, getting quite ill. They're strugg struggling to work. Their working relationship is quite testy, um, but they they presumably want to continue the show. So, is the, was the <laughs> regeneration kind of invented as a you know to solve to solve that problem in a way? It's like yeah. we need to keep the show going, but we can't keep it going with Hartnell. Um, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure of the, the exact details, but I mean, I, I think that was the case that they felt the show needed to be refreshed in some way. And they did. Yeah. I mean, they were, I think they are happy with the general premise and the character, but Hartnell himself, like for various reasons with his health and his kind of general <laughs> crotchetiness, I think, um, which was in part due to his health. Um, I think probably made him awkward to work with. And so they wanted to work out how to do that. So, um, yeah, it's fascinating a thing. But. Yeah. It's fascinating watching the kind of law develop, isn't it? Because they probably for one thing, didn't know that the show would continue this long. And for another thing, yeah, it's not like when they wrote an unearthly child, they'd they'd thought at that point, Oh yeah, this is a character who can regenerate. That no. was obviously something that, just evolved uh, into the show later on. Yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting to think what they would have done if they hadn't come up with that concept of it being, you know, do you just, because lots of shows have just recast actors, haven't they? You know, they go, yeah. we're back for a new series and now the main character, or not necessarily the main character, but sometimes a, a main character has been recast with a new person for whatever reason. Um, yeah, or you do, do the Bond do a Dumbledore. Kind of thing. Where... Do the Bond thing, do a Dumbledore, you know. Yeah. I mean, Dumbledore obviously died. That's a slightly different thing. But um, but yeah, but exactly. So would, would you just say, oh, it's the same character and you just keep it going? You know, he's supposed to be exactly the same character, just played by a different actor. Maybe this is a discussion for when we get to regeneration, but um, yeah, uh, it is an interesting thought. But uh I've I've enjoyed that story as coming into it, you know, not knowing anything really about the savages, thinking in my head, it's going to be a Stone Age type one. Um, it's going to be like an unearthly child. Obviously, it's not really remotely like that. So it's a really nice surprise. And a bit like yourself, I, I look at it and think, oh, that's one that it would have been great to see this moving. Um, I think it's a real shame that it's been lost that one because it, I think there's yeah. a lot of potentially good stuff in there. But we did get their handshake at the end. Exactly. That's nice. That's nice. Do you see what I did though? I just shook hands with myself. I saw. Yeah. Yeah. I was very impressed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, there we go. Should we wrap that one up there? Yeah, I think so. Um, let us know what you think of the savages. Um, we've obviously quite uh, keen on it. And just any thoughts you've got on some of the things we've talked about or any other bits of trivia you've got on the story would be great. And uh, like I say, drop us any questions for the Series 3 overview, which is not far away now. And yeah, join us soon for the finale of the season, The War Machines. Uh, but until then, take care and goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.